Hi, my name is Ted Siuba, professional hypnotherapist with 26 years of experience practicing, about 55 years using it. I've got a hypnosis secret that I just can't wait to share with you. If you're interested in self-development, personal achievement, this is important. It all begins with a question. What is neural repatterning? Catch the words right. Neural, as in neurons, the, the brain cells, repatterning. Well, it's real simple. And Stanford University is the people who opened this up with studies, breakthrough studies that they did in the 80s, 90s, published in the, in the 90s, I believe. And it's called a structural brain change. Now their first experiments were done as so often they are, were done on mice, laboratory rats, right? And what they found is that rats who lived in an enriched environment had more energy, had more action in their life. Some people could say that's because they lived in an, an enriched environment. Okay, so they cut open their brains and they found that their brain mass had actually increased. You see, for hundreds of years, people thought you were born with a brain, you grew up, you know, obviously through the growing phases, and then that was it, you were stuck. No, 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 that is not it. You can acquire more power, more processing speed, more processing strength, more processing precision, and they found that not only did the mass increase, of course, but the number of neurons and dendrites, which are the brain cells, had multiplied dramatically. And not only that, the insulation, the mylar sheath around them had increased and grown so that they were, boom, sending impulses and they were not being diffused and, and lost and short-circuited. Now, an enriched environment to a mice is treadmills, toys, opportunity to socialize with others. To a mouse, an impoverished environment is kind of like a prison cell. It's there, it's given food and water and oxygen, which ought to be enough, right? But they wither away. So the enriched environment that we're talking about, neural repatterning, takes these studies, these foundational studies, and through the miracles of sound and th frequencies, rhythms, language choices, th stories, metaphors, what we lead people through gives, creates a enriched environment in which the human can grow and improve and give more back to life, achieve more for themselves. Just one caution. Spending one day in an enriched environment didn't do anything for the rats and mice. It has to become an extended period of time. As that applies to us, that means you can't just go see a hypnotherapist one time. It means you can't just listen to a set of audios one time and have it happen. It does need to become a lifestyle, just like your health is a lifestyle between the nutrition that you put in your body and the exercise that you do. Just like your learning environment, you keep learning. It's easier to learn. You learn more. Just like your sales profession. Hey, if you go off and retired at Tahiti for six years, when you come back, you're going to have lost your touch. Now. You know I would never say you can't reacquire it, because you can. So repetition at the highest level is important. But simply stated, neural repatterning is changing the brain, changing the mental patterns, changing the beliefs, habits that you as a human individual have to those that would serve you more and help you acquire the riches that you desire. All right, friend, if you found this tip, this secret beneficial, 
claim your collection. I put together 20 of the top that I receive in my practice about hypnosis. All yours, free. It's called simply 20 things you absolutely must know before you enter into hypnosis for self-development and personal achievement. Yours free. Just go to 20 hypnosissecrets.com. That's the digit two and zero. 20hypnosissecrets.com. Ted C. Yuba.